everyone, I'm Audrey. And I'm Grant. Are you ready for another week of the Riddle Rangers? If you don't know already what the Riddle Rangers are, there are a couple of cold cracking kids named Zach and Jada. I think they got a couple of riddles to solve today. We're just waiting for a transmission. <gasps> oh, I just got one. Riddle Rangers to base. This is Zach transmitting from the dunes of Damascus. We need your help and we need it fast. Jada and I have been working day and night trying to figure out the riddles inside of this tomb. We've got to get out of here before it's too late. But we don't want to leave before we solve the riddles on the sarcophagi and get the last pieces to the stone disc. You see, every time we solve a pair of riddles, the lid to one of these coffins opens up and reveals a piece of stone disc with part of a message on it. We have half of the disc so far, but we need your help getting the other half. I'm sending you another riddle right now. See what you can do with it and send it back ASAP. This is Zach. Over and out. The answer is stand up to the devil. Great job, kids. Uploading the riddles now. Riddle Rangers to base. This is Jada. Bam! You got it! The riddle says, Stand up to the devil. I think that's a reference to something Paul said in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6. That's right, Jada. In Ephesians 6, it tells us about being strong against the devil. Yeah! Do you realize that we are part of a battle every day? Not against people, but against the devil. What? Oh, it's okay, Grant. I'll help explain. Okay. Hey, Grant, it's kind of like this. When the devil tries to attack us with temptation, it's like he's whispering stuff in our ear. Disobey your parents. You're not smart. Be selfish. Lie. Cheat. Steal. I need something to protect myself. Oh. So Grant, if you don't have anything to protect yourself, then all of his temptations hit their target and it's hard to resist. Slowly but surely, you give in to the temptation and you sin against God. Oh, I hear another message from Jada. Oh boy, there it goes again. Our GPS tracking system has detected some movement. So far, the grave robbers have been wandering every which way through the desert. But now it looks like they're headed straight for us. This could be bad. We've got to keep solving these riddles before it's too late. I'm sending the next one right now and send it back when you solve it. Thanks. You kids rock. This is Jada. Over and out. answer is, put on the full armor of God. We just sent a second riddle. Riddle Rangers to base. This is Zach again. Nice work. The riddle says, put on the full armor of God. Hang on, dudes. Here we go again. The lid to the third sarcophagus is opening. I knew it. The third piece to the stone disc is inside. We can almost see the whole thing, but there's still a missing piece. Oh, man, you have to come back next week. We need your help solving the last set of riddles so we can get out of here before the grave robbers get their hands on us. Until then, this is Zach, signing off. That's amazing, Zach. Hmm. Put on the full armor of God. Hmm, that sounds familiar. I wonder if we can find more about that in Ephesians 6. When we put on the full armor of God, we can stand up to the devil and his temptations. The belt of truth. That means we know Jesus and believe that he shows us the truth. The breastplate of righteousness. That means we believe that Jesus has forgiven us and made us right. 
by washing our wrongs away. Shoes of the gospel of peace. That means we're filled with peace because we think about the good news of Jesus. Shield of faith. That means we trust that Jesus loves and protects us from the devil. Helmet of salvation. That means we know that we belong to Jesus and that we will live with him one day in heaven. Sword of the Spirit is the word of God. That means we know and do what the Bible says. time for discussion questions. Of course the armor of God isn't something you wear on your body, it's something that you wear on your heart, just like our memory verse. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. If he is in 6 verse 11. That's it for today everybody. Let's just close in prayer. Okay, we'll fold our hands and bow our heads. Dear God, thank you that we have the armor of God to protect us against the devil and his temptation. Amen. Amen. Have a great week, everyone. Have a great Bye. week. Bye.